I was getting nowhere fast. The cold turkey was messing with me, like I was looking through another man's eyes. I needed to focus. I could hear a woman screaming. I thought I'd found Fabiana, but instead I'd stumbled across some testosterone fest. A bunch of young punks with guns killing time the only way they knew how. Nova Esperanza wasn't exactly a dinner and movie kind of place. I recognized the hoods who jumped me earlier. I was trying to decide whether to crash this party or turn back, when my natural grace and finesse made the decision for me. Fabiana's market value was falling by the second. I had to get to Serrano before he dumped his stock. <laughs> the 
These bastards look different, tougher, more capable. They didn't look like Serrano's boys, but I could tell I was moving up the food chain. I hoped Fabiana wasn't going to be served up come feeding time. There was no need to announce my arrival in that part of town. I'd drawn more than enough attention already. This was going to be a safe medical detox.
Vou vir essa, seu filho da puta. I couldn't find any clues in this place, so I decided to do my bit for the drugs trade. That much security, it had to be Serrano's pad. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured he wouldn't mind if I dropped in and thanked him personally for his hospitality. It wasn't like he wasn't expecting me.
I had to hope the king was in his castle. As I approached the spot, I could hear raised voices. Then I saw that Marcello had turned up with a suitcase full of money along with Fabiano's sister, Giovanna. I only understood a little, but things were not going well. 